I'm going to demonstrate the concept of the Whipple tree that's now been incorporated into the prototype of the new Phoenix Hand. This is an example of the new Phoenix Hand developed by Jason Bryant and this section he's referring to as the gripper box. It's very similar, in fact it's got a compatible mount on the dovetail to the more traditional uh, tensioner block that is used on the Raptor and Raptor Reloaded hands. Here each of the fingers and thumb can have their individual tensions adjusted with a separate screw. However, if I were to pick up an object such as this reel of elastic with the more traditional hand you'll notice that only the thumb and forefinger is really uh, cooperating and taking part in the grip. Uh, certainly the pinky finger really isn't uh, performing any real function. That's because all of the fingers and thumb are being pulled equally by the tensioner block. If we look at the modified version, the gripper box, that, when I pick up the same reel of elastic, when I grip it, you will see that every finger is now cooperating and taking part in that grip. The difference is that the gripper box is distributing the force among the fingers rather than the more traditional tensioner where the first finger to hit an obstacle stops all of the fingers moving. With the gripper box it distributes the load and so when, more than, uh, when one finger or more than one finger hits an obstruction the other fingers carry on moving, so the load is distributed among them. That's achieved using a device called a Whipple tree, which is inside the gripper box. Now, to make it easier to demonstrate this, I've got this model. This is actually a 300% scale model of that gripper box. This pin is like a traditional pin within the tensioner, and that's simply for the thumb. The fingers, the four fingers, are controlled by their four uh, tendon lines and they go through this object, this blue object, which is called the Whipple tree. This line on the first finger goes through a channel through to the second finger. So that's one tendon that goes between those two fingers through a channel within the Whipple tree. Likewise, the third and fourth fingers have one line that goes up through here, through a channel, and back down to the fourth finger. The Whipple tree can pivot on the pivot here. And when the whole unit, the tensioner, or the gripper box, is pulled back as though you were bending the wrist within the enable hand, then all of the thumb and fingers move. These yellow squares or diamonds are uh, supposed to represent the motion of the thumb and the four individual fingers. So without any form of obstruction they will all move together. However, if I were to obstruct the motion of the thumb, which is controlled by this traditional tensioner pin, then as soon as I stop it, the whole unit seizes and it doesn't go any further. So that's the uh, effect of the more traditional tensioner block where the first finger or thumb to hit an object is uh, going to result in the whole unit uh, not going any further. Now, this is where the Whipple tree comes into its own. If, while I'm moving the gripper box, I were to obstruct the motion of one of the fingers, the other fingers and the thumb carry on moving. It's distributing the tension and the force over those fingers. So if I were to obstruct the motion of that finger, the other fingers will move, likewise here. And so you'll also see, as I'm doing that, the Whipple tree is swiveling. So if I hold that, you'll see it swivels to distribute the load between not only these two fingers, which are uh, wired together with that single cord, but also the twisting of the Whipple tree causes a distribution of the force 
between these pair of fingers and these fingers. So once again, if I obstruct, the others will carry on moving. So, it's a very simple mechanism. In fact, it's so simple, it was developed hundreds of years ago for teaming together groups of animals, such as horses, where you had a team of horses pulling a carriage, and you needed to distribute the forces between uh, the uh, traction animals. 